Hey, everybody. It's so good to see you. I have a portrait of a graduate challenge for you today. We are going to create a paintbrush. You may already have a paintbrush at home, but I'm going to challenge you to put together a paintbrush from materials you can find around your home. I'm going to make myself small and share with you what's on my screen. Use your creative and critical thinking skills to construct a paintbrush using materials you can find around your home. Find something to use for the handle, the ferrule, and the bristles. Let's talk about what are we, what part of our brain are we using and what, what's our thinking when we are using our creative and critical thinking skills. So we're gonna be asking questions to help us solve the problem. We're gonna create solutions that are new. I will use my imagination to think about new ideas. I show that I am creative. Now, let's talk about our paintbrush. This is the handle. This is the ferrule. And this is, these are the bristles. The handles that we hold on to. The bristles are the part that dips in the paint and touches the surface paper or wood or whatever we're adding paint to. And the ferrule is what holds the bristles onto the handle. So when you're thinking about building your paintbrush, you're gonna be choosing three different parts to put together. The handle, the ferrule, and the bristles. I looked around my home and I walked around my backyard. So first let's talk about what I may have found for a handle. So I walked in my backyard and I found some sticks. This is a thin stick and I can actually break it to make smaller handles. I found this stick. It's an odd shape. I may be able to break that too. I found a chopstick from the kitchen. Now remember, if you're gonna be using things in your home, you may wanna ask, make sure you ask first, just in case. Now let's talk about the bristles. What did I find around my place for bristles? Well, I found a sock. I found a paper plate. When I was walking outside, I found some small sticks, beads, softer, thin leaves, some tall grass. Let's talk about the ferrule. Now, the ferrule is going to be something I'm going to um, be thinking about what might this supply be that can hold the bristles and the handle together. So I found a string. This is from a hoodie. Found some tape, two different types of tape. Rubber band. Pipe cleaner. Hair tie. And I found some string. So those are the things I would use for the ferrule. So your challenge, remember, is to use your creative and critical thinking skills to construct a paintbrush using materials you can find around your home. And something to use for the handle, the ferrule, and the bristles. This particular brush is called a fan brush why it might be called a fan brush. Now, I also grabbed a pair of scissors. So I've sorted my supplies into three categories. I can't wait to see what you find. Remember, you are a creative and critical thinker, and you can do this. Good luck. Oh, also, don't forget, test it out and see how it goes. See you next time. Bye.